July ends and August begins. Number 94 Aero Squadron is on real hard times. Yesterday, during our sortie, Squadron Commander Travis was killed upon colliding with a Hun machine. We are down to seven pilots who are capable of flying. One third of our squadron is currently in the hospital getting treated for their wounds. Upon Travis's death, Captain Stanley Foley has taken full command of the squadron. He is a good man. I have flown with him on many occasions and he treats his pilots very well. He can't stand the mechanics, however. He blames them for every little thing that goes wrong, from gun jams to our delayed shipment of spads. Due to the low manpower of the squadron, there is only one sortie for the day. Four of us are to go up at 0600 hours on an offensive patrol. Let's get this over with. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to some more Rise of Flight as we take to the skies on our trusty Newport Shrapnel Catcher once again. As you can see, it's nice and early in the morning. We're taking off at around 6 o'clock, and it looks like there is a slight wind. I think it's around 2 meters per second, so not too bad. And there we go. We got the OK to launch whenever it looks like a flight lead has went ahead and started up, and he is now rolling. So we will follow him. Let's go ahead and take a look at our mission objective. So we're really just flying over and taking a look at those German airfields that we tend to harass rather frequently. This is the only sortie planned for the day unless we do have a, uh, what's it called? An alert patrol later in the evening, which is very possible. All right, let's go ahead and start throttling up and get ready for takeoff. I go ahead and make sure my guns are ready to fire and go ahead and nose up. All right, and airborne, perfect. And we'll go ahead and lean back on that mixture a little bit so we get optimal RPM and go ahead and climb up to my comrades up there. I do hope this is a nice and clean sortie. I've had two successful sorties with very successful landings and I'm hoping to make that three in a row. And uh, maybe after that, even a habit of it. So overall, I'm fairly happy with the way the series is going. We should be getting spads. I know I say this almost every time, but we should be getting spads really soon now. I really hope we get them. Uh, we do have quite a few Newport 18s left. Uh, we have 14 that are ready to go. So uh, the squadron also is really, really hurting in terms of manpower. There are only seven pilots that are able to fly at the moment, which is uh, not good at all. So very low manpower in our squadron. And that's probably why we're only flying one sortie today. So we really need to watch, be careful, and uh, try not to get anyone else killed here. So I'm definitely going to try to protect my, my friends up here and make sure we all get back home safely. So with that out of the way, I think I'm going to go ahead and end my little, little pre-ramble here, and I will get back to you guys pretty soon. I guarantee you there are going to be enemies over the front lines this early in the morning. This is a very popular time to go up and fly, and uh, maybe we'll find some two-seaters taking pictures of our lines or something like that. So I do suspect there will be some action in this sortie, so I will see you guys soon. All right, we're currently diving down and turning around. I assume flight lead has detected something. I saw a balloon, so that might be what we are going for. Let's go ahead and cut power to idle as we begin this dive. I don't want to shear my wings off. And yeah, there is a balloon up there, 12 o'clock. That is most likely what we're going for, methinks. I'll go ahead and follow flight lead in. Looks like flight lead is going to be taking the shots at the balloon. He's killed off a lot of altitude already all right we're probably safe to start throttling up here I don't see anything else which he might be targeting okay bandits it's like three of them well possibly bandits like he's still fixated on the balloon however so let's go ahead and we'll take this thing out lots of Archie exploding all around us I'm sure this balloon is heavily defended and that's probably where it's coming from here go ahead and throttle down a stay with flight lead all right 
there's the balloon. All right, they are lowering the balloon, so I'm gonna go ahead and go on in for it. Go into a nice dive here. And I'll startle down before we even bust our engine, overspeed our propeller. Oh, looks like a uh, Okay, I broke off. I felt a something go through my wing and I thought something was on my six o'clock, but apparently not. I think uh, that might have been one of my friends accidentally shooting me. Let's go ahead and go for this balloon. Got it. Slowly pull up. There we go. And run like hell from that Archie. zoom back up to a decent altitude hopefully that anti-aircraft gun emplacement doesn't shoot me in the head they're getting pretty close with those tracer rounds all right but I think we were okay all right and I'm gonna go ahead and climb back up it looks like those are friendly aircraft since they are getting shot at by the anti-aircraft gun so I think we are all in the clear here so I'm going to go ahead and climb back up to my friends and I will get back to you guys very shortly. So there is definitely a dogfight happening up here and it looks like there are Fokker DR1s. It's like that's flight lead right there chasing that DR1 throwing some shots towards them. So we're going to go ahead and start spiraling up. I need to watch. There's been quite a lot of ground fire over here. Uh, I've been hit a few times. I heard fabric tearing on my way over here. so. I think I've been hit, but thankfully not in the engine, nowhere critical it seems. I still have pretty good control of my aircraft. Looks like that's another new port. It seems like the majority of the aircraft over here are indeed new ports, and that the DR1s are outnumbered, so I think this is a pretty good fight for us. Let's see, new port. There's a DR1 right there. It's gonna take me a little while to climb up the altitude. Ooh, that Archie got really close to him. Whoever that is. You can always tell who Flight Lead is by... Oh, yep, that's Flight Lead. There you go. He has the little uh, the streamer. So Flight Lead always has the streamer. That's how you can tell. Uh, Archie's getting kind of close to me as well. Slowly but surely climbing up to a decent altitude. We'll go ahead and watch this dogfight from down here, I guess. Maybe that DR1 will get dragged down, who knows. Looks like there's another one. Is that a DR1? Yeah, there's one right there coming in behind me. Ooh, boy. What the hell was that? Man, there is a lot of Archie. Lots of it. That one was really close too. All right, I'm. it's actually starting to worry me a little bit all of the Archie fire that's getting really close to me. I would rather not get taken out by Archie. All right, coming in on this DR1. Nice and easy. I'm losing out, I don't have enough speed. I don't think he sees me though, I'm at his low six, so I might be in a blind spot here. We'll see, I'm gonna try to bounce him. Closing in nicely. Checking six. We're still okay. Oh, looks like either he heard me or something. But I think we still will be able to get shots off here. Damn. Alright, and here we go. Now we're dancing. I think I got a few hits, maybe. Nothing t critical, though. I do want to save ammo since I did take those shots at that balloon. I'm not sure how many, how much ammunition I actually have. The very limited capacity of this aircraft. All right, Get down below me. Oh boy, you turn this around. Looks like he has a purple nose. I wonder what Yasta he's a part of.
There we go. We got another Newport joining the fight. Oh boy. Yeah, he's kind of doing circles around me. Alright, let's see. Shit. Losing airspeed quite a bit here, but it looks like he is definitely. I don't see any other triplanes about. God. I keep pull, pulling my nose up so high and stalling here. I just cannot build enough airspeed up to keep this up. So I'm going to go ahead and spiral up. Looks like he's disengaged from me, which is good. He's not fixated on me, trying to kill me. This helped my survivability. I saw that tracer go by me. I wonder. I think that was uh, friendly. Here we go. And once again, I do not. I can't maintain that. I just need to gain altitude and get above them. This is futile. Okay, we're on the six o'clock of this guy here. I think two of them have bugged out, and this is the only one left. It looks like he's getting ganged up by uh, three Newports. So I don't think he has very good odds of surviving here. His aircraft looks okay, though. No smoke or anything like that. Throw some rounds. The uh, DR-1 is a very nimble aircraft, so he's definitely going to be able to outturn me here. Alright, go around. Which is difficult because that means I have to rely on deflection shooting a little bit more. Alright, let's go ahead and climb up. Come on. Go. Not bad. I wonder if I actually did get damaged because my, my new port seems a little unwieldy compared to normal. Threw some down range. Nothing great. You can just turn so fast, it's amazing. <laughs> There we go, he's leaking. Looks like fuel, possibly. Oh, and he has engine damage, perfect. I think he's probably trying to disengage now. Oh, that was super close. It's hard to hang with them in these little tight turns that he keeps doing. I could probably leave him, let him be, and he'll uh, crash on his own. Although it seems every time I do that, they end up just <laughs> getting away completely. The aircraft are never as damaged as I think they are. Alright, but he definitely has quite a bit of engine damage. I'm seeing those puffs of black smoke come from him don't think he's going to be able to keep that up much longer. But we can keep this up. Looks like we definitely have the edge now that his aircraft is crippled. Good hits there. Okay. Something flew off. I'm not too sure what exactly yet. I want to keep it up though. And after this, I might actually have to go on home. I'm not sure what the ammo situation is for us. We'll keep on spiraling down. I'm okay. I can keep this up all day. Even if I can't get guns on them, I'm going to try to force them into the ground. His engine stopped. Alright. So that's one DR-1 going down. Let's go ahead and regain our altitude. Unless he's just playing a little joke on me, but yeah, okay, his propeller is stopped. So, cool, that's one DR1 going down. I'm not going to waste any more ammunition on him. 
Uh, he's crashing down behind his side of the line, so he'll probably be able to make it back. Let's go ahead and check our surroundings and see exactly where we are. That was not very good on my part. What are you doing, man? He's flying right into the trenches. That is not where I would want to put her down, but good luck. Let's see. I do not see my friends. Well, one thing's for sure. I need to gain some altitude and get the hell away from all this Archie. Okay, just a brief update. I have found my flight. There is three new ports flying right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and climb up and regroup with them. I also, it looks like that's just Archie way out there. Uh, maybe there's something out there since Archie's blowing up, but it's obviously friendly if uh, the Germans are shooting at it. So uh, that is that. So I'm gonna go ahead and regroup with these guys and we'll continue on our patrol. So it looks like we have found the remainder of the Fokker DR1s. I'm following flight lead in. I just saw them. Let's see if we can see them here. There they are. There's one of them at least. It looks like there's only a flight of two. And they're up against us four. And we have the altitude advantage. So I think this is going to be a hopefully easy dogfight. I'm not sure how much ammunition I have, that is my one worry. I used way too much ammunition on that last DR-1, I think. So I need to make all of my shots count this time. But I think I'll be able to, with this altitude, I have quite a lot of energy to play with. Let's see. These are the only other contacts we've really seen. I've seen no other fighters. Alright, we're diving down on them. All right, I'm breaking off. I'm following flight lead. I'm gonna fixate on this one right here. Looks like he's turning away. Come in nice and fast. Boom and zoom. We have quite a lot of Archie exploding around us now as well. <laughs> of course, it seems like the Germans have really concentrated their AA batteries over in this area. There is a lot today. All right, coming in on them. Damn it. Alright, here we go. And it's on. Looks like he stalled. Oh, that was actually a pretty slick maneuver there. <laughs> was a... Alright, let's go ahead and come up. Damn it, I don't think anything there hit. It's another one of those purple nosed ones. Alright, back around. Oh. Not able to get guns on very well here. Alright, let's go ahead and break off and try to regain altitude and regain our altitude advantage. Let's see, that's a new port. The DR1 is laying in behind me. It seems like these uh, Fokkers are flying mostly defensively. I don't think one of them has... Sh <laughs> I say that. I see one right on my 6 o'clock. Engaging. Ooh, it looks like he got hit. No, maybe. I can't tell if he got hit or he's just leaking. Or that's just regular exhaust. Alright, let's go ahead and lay in on this guy. I think I got something there. Let's reload my gun. One of my Vickers stopped firing. I hope I'm not out of ammunition. And hopefully it's just a jam. Guess we'll find out on this upcoming pass here. Ooh, there we go. Getting nice and close. Looks like he decided not to turn in on me again. I want to say I got hits there as well. But I can do this all day, I think. I think both my guns still have ammunition, which is great. Oh, he's getting shot at by somebody. Dove down on him. There we go. Definitely got one into the wing there. There 
All right, one of my guns is out. So I'm gonna have to disengage here very shortly. Oh boy. Okay, on them. Both guns are out, damn. All right, well, unfortunately that was not my best gunnery at all. I find it actually rather difficult to hit these DR1s here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and climb up above him, try to evade this guy, because he definitely still has ammunition. Looks like this other new port is engaging. We'll see, I'll follow him around, but I think this dogfight's pretty much over. I think everyone's really getting out of here alive, so. I'll go ahead and cut here and keep you guys updated with the results of the dogfight, but I don't think too much is actually gonna happen here. I will see you guys soon. Okay, just wanted to give you guys a brief update on where we are. I'm currently flying in formation with two other new ports. But not Flight Lead. I'm not sure where Flight Lead ran off to because this guy that I'm following around does not have the streamer. But we are pretty far behind our lines and we're closing in on our air bases. So this sortie will be coming to a close fairly soon. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed with my gunnery. I did not do nearly as well as normal, but that's okay. Sometimes we have our off days. The important thing is we got away and we're alive with uh, minimal damage to shrapnel catcher. We'll take a better look whenever we land at our aerodrome, but as it stands now, just from a visual inspection right here, I don't have any holes. So that is very impressive in my opinion. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna come in for a landing. Hopefully it is a very nice and successful landing and uh, hopefully we'll see flight lead at our air base. So I'll go ahead and cut here and get back to you guys soon. Well, we've made it back to our aerodrome A-OK, -okay, no damage, and checking the windstock there. It looks like we'll actually be able to land <laughs> in a decent direction going over the hangars. That will help minimize uh, how close I really get to the hangars on landing. I cut it very close uh, every single time, it seems. I get very close to actually smashing into the hangars. I know some of you guys want to see that happen, but uh, uh, I'm going to have to disappoint during this sortie. So we'll go ahead and loop around, fly right over the hangars, and come in for a hopefully smooth landing. I do not want to crash my aircraft after such a good sortie, but we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I don't smash into a hangar this way. Uh, I have to admit, I have done that before. Let's go ahead and be sure we don't avoid the tree. <laughs> All right, and come down nice and easy coming in a little hot but we should be a-okay one bounce two uh, just just one bounce not too shabby let's go ahead and dig that skid into the ground and we're turning we're spinning but hey that is another very successful landing for shrapnel catcher let's go ahead and do a visual inspection of the aircraft and despite the the fabric tearing noises my plane looks okay so uh, maybe I have something on the bottom of the wing who knows somewhere some fabric tore but overall it looks good and that's all that really matters so let's go ahead and end this flight and see how everyone did hopefully everyone's alive and we didn't lose another uh, officer well we'll see so Ray Griffin here was actually leading the flight and uh, it looks like he landed before everyone else and those guys were in the air. I got one aerial victory. I guess I didn't get credit for that balloon that I shot down, which is kind of interesting. Uh, maybe someone else shot it, was shooting at it at the same time and got credit. Whatever. That's fine by me. I can do without that. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking to see, hey, how many kills does Evan Ross have? So I will go ahead. Oh, <laughs> there is an alert patrol. Um... Let's see, am I taking partaking in it? No, I am not, but it looks like the rest of the squadron is. So we'll go ahead and generate that, see how they do. Hopefully they are successful in uh, driving the German air raid back. Let's see, looks like everyone's okay. And let's go ahead and go to next day. So this will be 
I guess not the start of a new week. Friday, August 2nd. I'm curious to see if we get a spad. Uh, yes! The squadron has been reinforced by 18 SPAD-13 C-1 aircraft. Here we go, boys. This is the moment I have and you have been waiting for. So, finally, we have received our SPADs. And we got 18 of them. So we won't be flying a mixed squadron with some SPADs and some Newports. Everyone will be flying the shiny new SPAD. So, this will take... This will be a little learning curve for me. Uh, the SPAD is a pure boom and zoomer. I can't really turn like I kind of turn with the Newport 18, but uh, I'm sure I will get used to it. We have double the ammunition. Overall, it is a far superior aircraft. And you guys can uh, see that in the next upcoming mission. And uh, it looks like there are patrols. And it looks like I'm going on a line patrol uh, tomorrow with uh, our brand new SPAD. I do want to learn how to make a skin, and I want to slap shrapnel catcher on the side of the skin. So I need to look up how to actually make a skin for Rise of Flight. But anyway, let's go to the personal room and see my victories real fast. My picture is Eddie Rickenbacker, so that's actually kind of funny. But anyway, let's go ahead and see. So I have 14 personal victories. And it looks like a lot of Fokker D7s, one DR1 from earlier, and then uh, I guess we shot down a DR1 most recently. Right? Uh, I'm a little confused here, but anyway. Yep, we have a total of 14 victories, which is fairly good, I have to say. I'm pretty happy with that. 14 is quite a bit. So anyway, I'm gonna go, oh yeah, there's the DR1 we shot down. And then we shot down another DR1 on the 22nd and it was from the same Yasta, Yasta 36 so anyway that's going to end this here episode thank you guys for watching as always this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you guys in the next episode when we take to the skies and a trusty spad